I'm doing a collective haul video kind of thing. I went to LA and before I went to LA I bought a lot of clothes and then when I was in LA I bought a lot of stuff and I went to IMAX so I bought a lot of makeup. So I just thought I would put it all together into one big haul video for you because I haven't filmed a haul video in a long time. So I thought I would. So anyways, yeah, I kind of like breezed through that really fast. But I went to IMAX in LA and it was super fun. Oh my goodness. What I wouldn't give to go back to IMAX. <laughs> Anyways, so I guess I will do the makeup first since it's like setting. Who's texting me? What up? Let's see. So I guess I'll start with makeup since it's right in front of me and it's just staring at me and I really want to go through it. So, okay, let's begin. So I got all this makeup from IMAX. Oh, wait, and I also got some stuff from Sephora. So maybe I should do that first. I don't know where I put it. <sighs> from Sephora, I got Gimme Brow and High Beam, but I don't even know where that is in my makeup desk, and I don't really feel like getting up because I'm really comfortable, so I'm just gonna leave it over there. <gasps> Shut up. So first, I went to this booth, and it was called Booth. <gasps> so the first booth that I stopped at was like Lash Plash or Lash something. I don't know. I just wanted to pick up these eyelashes, and one pair is not there because I have them on right now. And it honestly feels like I have little hats on my eyes, which is weird because like I can see my eyelashes. I just got these mostly because when I do other people's makeup, sometimes they like to have eyelashes on and I was like, I'm out of eyelashes. So I thought I would get these. And then probably the most popular booth was Sigma. So I went there and I got four things. So I guess I'll just go through these. The first thing that I got was this shimmer cream and this is in the shade Brilliant. So. Brilliant. Oh. And this I just really like the look of because it's kind of like a creamy-ish thing going on and it's really sparkly so I thought I would get this. And the next thing I got is a brow pencil in clean cut because I do my eyebrows obviously like every day but I've never used a brow pencil. It's just like a basic eyebrow pencil. I don't know. Is there like something you should look for in an eyebrow pencil? I don't know. And then I also got this highlight pencil and this is in the shade, it doesn't say it's shade. <laughs> but anyway, it has a highlight side which is kind of pinky fleshy toned and this one which is like a gold highlighting shade. And the last thing that I got from Sigma is an inner rim brightener. I like having the white um, inner rims so I thought I would try this like kind of peachy pink color because I thought it might look good. I got a lot of pencils I'm just realizing. So I went to NYX, or NYX, whatever you want to call it, and the first thing I got was a pencil sharpener. Whoa! Pencil sharpener. Whoa, exciting, right? Um, but I mostly got it because the big pencil sharpener and the small one. This NYX Butter Lipstick, and this is in the shade Cotton Candy. Oh, cute! And it just looks like this. <laughs> it doesn't smell. And then I got this concealer and it's above and beyond full coverage concealer and I got this in the shade porcelain. And then I got two pencils from NYX. I got a wonder pencil which is like the kind of the same as that Sigma pencil and then I got a lip liner in the shade hot pink because I've been needing another lip liner for when I wear kind of darker tones on my lips which is next to never but whatever. And then I got this felt tip liner in the shade Black is Black, and do I even have to take it out of the packaging? I guess I will. Kind of thicker than I thought it was going to be, so I don't know if I'll be very good with this eyeliner. And the last thing I got from NYX is in a package as well, but what is it called? Eyebrow Shaper. What the heck? I guess like you just run it through your eyebrows and then it kind of keeps them in place. Once again, eyebrows. And then I went to the booth. I meant to go to OCC, as in like get some OCC lip tars, but I found some at like this J Cats or something. J Cats, J Cat. I don't even know what it is, but it's they look just like OCC lip tars, and I was like, what? So, anyways, I got a purple, a red, and a pink. Okay, so next I went to Tarte, and I've been wanting to get a Tarte foundation for a long time, so I went there and they didn't have the Amazonian clay one, and I was like, <sighs> but then. I found this one and it's a BB cream, well it's a tinted BB cream and it's from Tarte and I don't even know what the word for this is. Like, Also from Tarte I got this High Performance Neutrals Lip Surgeons in the shade Energy. And this looked so cool when I was there, I was like whoa, like I can't live without that. 
and it's lit it's it's colorless like and then I got this Tarte High Performance Neutrals Clay Pot so it's just a gel eyeliner I don't know it's just so sleek like it's like it could be like displayed in a museum it's like so nice then I got some brushes. First I got this little baby one from Sigma that they just like gave me. First brush I got is from Crown Brushes and it is CF455 and I got it for concealer because as you can see it's kind of like one of those circle stippling synthetic brushes so that you can like blend really easily down here. And then this brush I had to like fly into the booth to get and it's a crown brush and it's the CF74. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I switched an F for a 4 and a 3 for a 7, that was so weird. The C473 Pro Contour, and it's shaped like this, and it's like perfect for like, right to get in the contour. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. And I got these two little baby brushes from Royal Brushes. Then I went to China Glaze, and I got 10 nail polishes, so I guess I'll show you them kind of quickly. Quicklier. So I got Don't Be a Flake, which is hilarious, Peachy Keen, which is this one, Pink Voltage, which my mom picked out because she's insane, Refresh Mint, The Outer Edge, Going My Way, question mark, Nova, Getting to Gnaw You, what the heck, Elephant Walk, and Hook and Line, which kind of looks similar, but I thought they looked different. So that is all the makeup I bought at IMATS. It was so fun. Oh my goodness. Like, I wish I would have vlogged the whole day. It would have been a crazy vlog. But whatever. So anyways, before I left, since I'm a shopaholic with no money, I went to Bath & Body Works because they were having their semi-annual sale. So I got quite a few shower gels. Sugar Plum Dream and another Coconut Cocoa. And then my mom got me something at Bath & Body Works because I wanted it, but for some reason I wouldn't buy it for myself. And it is a candle holder. Isn't it cute? I don't want to drop it. Oh and from Disneyland, I have to show you guys this because it's the cutest thing in the world. I got this from like one of those little Disneyland stores. Oh. And of course, I made my stop at Brandy Melville because I can't go to the mall without going there for some reason. So. So I got this little maroon tank top because it's inside out. Oh. And I just put it on like this and I walk around like this. My store finally got sweatpants and I was so happy and I've worn them like day and night. And I got these two things off Rose Gal. I'll link them in the description box. It's like this online website that seriously if you're looking for something really like you can't find anywhere, just search on there and they'll have like hundred of them and you can choose and then it sends to your house and you're just like, oh awesome because seriously I was looking for stuff I was like lace maxi skirt blue and then there was like 300 options and I was like it's about time someone makes a website like that I got this crop top and it's like maroon and it's got like this lace or <laughs> lace ribbon kind of thing tie up in the back and it's a crop top and it's long sleeved and it's pretty much like me in a sweater and then I got this little headband and it's so cute there's like a bunch of dogs like coming up to my window, what the heck? Whatever. I'll pretend like I don't see them. Okay, and then Mooncats sent me this and I was like, thank you, brand, for sending me something. Like, isn't that just like the funnest thing ever? And they sent me this scarf and it's navy and it's like an affinity scarf and it's like the comfiest scarf ever. Look at me go. I'll link them in the description box if you care to get a scarf. I went to this store called Boathouse and I went here because I saw on their display window that they had maxi skirts and if you guys follow me on Instagram, like, that you literally have to follow me because I think I deleted this picture, but I was asking you guys where you could get a floral maxi skirt. So, so I got this one and I actually wore it to IMATS and it's just this maxi skirt and it's got like kind of, what kind of flowers are these? I don't know, but they're like navy and maroon, and then it's got like this little tie in here. And then I also got this one, and it's black with these flowers on it. Oh my goodness. And then also I got this little like romper kind of, no it's not a romper, it's a dress. And it's really kind of casual, and I don't know, there's not much to say about it. It's just going to be really nice for the summer, so I'm just going to put this away until summertime. And last, but certainly never at all least, 
Forever 21. I got this shirt that I did not think I was gonna like and then I put it on and I was like, I am literally hunting crocodiles right now. And then I got this shirt to wear under sweaters and it's like a collared kind of shirt. And then I got this skirt because I want to wear like casual skirts and this one's pretty casual I feel like. Like when you put it on, it looks just like a sporty skirt kind of, so. So anyways, that's the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'm not doing this haul to brag. I honestly feel like I haven't done a haul in forever and I think you guys don't mind hauls. I don't know, I like watching them so I thought I'd film one. Plus I had lots of stuff that I wanted to show you guys. So if you want any like makeup tutorials or outfit of the days or anything or like lookbooks, just let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to do those. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. I love you all and have a beautiful day.